Jane Velez Mitchell here for The Fix. Here's our question. Have you used antidepressants or other drugs to deal with any mood or emotional issues? How does it fit with your recovery? Well, first of all, I think it's very important to tell any doctor you visit, and this is what I always do, that I'm a recovering alcoholic, and please don't give me any mood-altering meds unless absolutely, completely necessary for a medical reason. Now, I recently had a very serious surgery, and I was given um, for uh, pain uh, coming out of surgery, Ambien and Vicodin. I took absolutely the minimal amount the first night and the second morning, and then I got rid of the pills because I don't want them near me. I don't want the availability. And I was very happy to have the experience of taking those um, that first night coming out of the surgery and finding it really unpleasant and wanting that stuff out of my system ASAP. That made me happy as somebody in recovery because the last thing we want to do is feel in any way tempted. Uh, I think as far as using any mood altering drugs for reasons of depression, I'm not saying it's never necessary. There are people who are suicidal. There are people who are schizophrenic. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, or I would say the vast majority of people in recovery, the point is to sit through the feelings, not mask the depression, but find out what is depressing you and why and how you can change your life and deal with it. My uh, uh, mentor in sobriety once told me, learn to sit through the feelings they don't last forever and that was one of the best pieces of advice because sometimes our moods do go black but ultimately if we sit through it let those negative feelings blossom then we're less scared of them and we're less likely to run from them and we're more likely to understand where they're coming from and that's really the journey of self-discovery in life so i think it's very important not to stuff down and suppress your sadness but let it blossom deal with it have the cathartic uh, rediscovery of that old emotion and then move on. You can watch me weeknights, 7 p.m. Eastern on HLN, and I do hope you check it out.